What's up YouTube? Jordan here. Working on the giveaway pipe. So I've just got it uh, drilled and rough cut. Super rough cut. Um, it's already standing which is super cool. Uh, I ran into some A few little cracks in the bottom here but judging by where they are if you see kind of how I'm gonna shape it I'm gonna miss that and then the bottom here if there's a couple left I'll either just sand it down a little bit more like I got a lot of room of material there till the bowl so I'll uh, I'll sand it so that those um, cuts but the grain is turning out amazing I think it's gonna be a really cool grain I'm gonna if I can, I'm going to try and do it smooth. You can see a little crack there too. But uh, it, I don't think it goes super deep. So I think most of these will be, are going to sand out once I round everything and, and that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens. So that's, uh, that's how it is for now. I'll cut back once I know, uh, or once I have a little bit more uh, sanding done and a little bit more of the shaping done and stuff so you guys can see. All right, so just got off the sanding wheel. Here's how she's coming out. Most of those cracks and uh, pits have gone away on the bottom here. There's a sand pit there. And there's one here as well. I'm not sure if I'll have to I'll fill it or whatever, but I want to try and keep this pipe smooth if I can. Um, because the grain is looking super good. So that's that. Now it's on to hand sanding all the rough edges from the sanding wheel and just kind of overall smoothing it out. And getting her ready to go so I'll come back after uh, hand sanding and show you a little bit more got the double plateau going also got to get the uh, mouthpiece started here soon still oops, still stands so yeah that's that so far back in a little bit all right, so I skipped a couple steps because I got busy in doing it, but it's all sanded, stained. The grain is unreal. The plateau turned out super sweet too. Kind of dark and light showing through on the tops. Stand still. Haven't done the mouthpiece yet. That's the next step, but this mouthpiece I don't have to shape to the pipe, right? So I can do it uh, at any point here. That's why I just got anxious and wanted to finish this. Anyways, the grain is awesome on this block. You can see a little the sand pit that came through here. Um, so I did a, a decent fill using some of the briar dust and whatever, but it'll always stain out darker, right? Because it's essentially it's just going to be end grain. So that's, uh, that's so far. I'll come back to you with the uh, mouthpiece update. All right. So just got off the uh, sander with the mouthpiece. Just rough shaped. Um, this is the first time I actually did some, if it'll focus out. Lay the work on the mouthpiece to get the saddle bit started. But the uh, hole and slot in rough shape. I'm going to thin it out quite a bit here yet, uh, 
but I get too anxious on the sanding wheel and if <clears throat> if I go too far with the sanding wheel there's no turning back so I usually stop at this point even though I could probably go a bit thinner but I just do it with sandpaper and files by hand after this so that's the mouthpiece so far something in there anyways it's drilled out real nice and this uh, silver fury they call this it's like orange and a silver metallic anyways once it polishes out I think it's gonna look real good so that's that I'll come back at you uh, once I have it sanded and uh, more polished and uh, I'll show you how I bend the stems because I don't think I showed you that in uh, my original carving videos. See you in a tiny bit. All right, back again. Got the mouthpiece thinned out and shaped. Um, and the taper, the reason it's square here is because this fits into the uh, plateau part of the mouthpiece. So it's a bit, that's why it's a little bit different, not a full cone. I got the bit and slot done. And yeah, it's overall, it's pretty good. So now I'm going to take my heat gun and heat up all the way from here up. And then with gloves on, just you kind of, once it's heated up, you just kind of just drag along it slightly just to get your nice smooth bend. I'm going for just a gradual bend on this one. I don't want to have a crazy bend on it just to kind of flow with the pipe a little bit. So uh, I'm going to try and bend it all the way from the back all the way up to the front there. And uh, I'll come back and show you once it's bent. All right. So stem is... Bent. This is 100 grit sandpaper. I only go to 100 grit when I'm bending um, because sometimes when you're bending it, it'll actually, depends on how aggressive of a bend, but it'll actually ripple a little bit here if you're not careful. So that's why it, I was saying you kind of got to like go real smooth and drag it along there. But you can kind of see how smoothness there I leave it a little bit straighter here in case a guy wants to clench um, but this pipe is going to be pretty heavy so clenching I don't think is going to be an option I mean maybe but it's going to be pretty heavy in the mouth so so that's that that's the bent stem and uh, now it's uh, 220 320 400 and then buffing Oops. and uh, and then I will come back and show you the completed uh, pipe once it's all finished all right and without further ado introducing the freehand giveaway Dublin. So just finished polishing it all. It still stands. It's a bit iffy, like the stem added quite a bit of weight to the standing, so I had to actually adjust the bottom base um, and then just restain it and polish it just so that I could get a better angle so that it actually stands like this. Um, and now this is empty, so with tobacco in it, it'll probably stand no problem. Like any amount of tobacco or weight on the front there will help it out standing. I mean, it's still standing, but if you bump it a little bit, it'll probably fall over backwards. But this is, uh, this is the giveaway pipe. Um, so this is for Super Glide Fletch. My 200 sub giveaway. And it turned out super good. We got the stem. 
is like a silver reflective with an orange striping in it. That kind of. And at the bird's eye mouthpiece and bird's eye here. And the grain is so nice on this everywhere. It wasn't intentional that it was going to follow the pipe like this, but it ended up following it mostly, and it ended up turning out super good. So some bird's eye on the bottom base, and the bowl is my entire pinky, which is like over two inches, so it's a massive pipe. Didn't weigh it yet, don't know how much it weighs. But that's the giveaway pipe. There was one uh, pit here, like I said. Um, I, uh, it was super shallow though. It just it looks worse than it is. It was super shallow. It just warranted a fill. Um, so just a small fill. And uh, the only reason I did that is because I wanted to keep this smooth. Otherwise, something like this, I probably would have just rusticated maybe here or something. But I, I think the grain turned out super well on this. So, so that's that. That's the giveaway pipe. Hope you all like it. If you're uh, interested uh, in something similar, my email will be in the description as usual. And congrats again to Super Glad Fletch for winning the pipe and the uh, pipe prep station. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.